What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the strongest and coolest Pokemon in the game, which is Ambipom. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo consider subscribing i was checking my analytics and about 60 percent of my viewers 60 that's a big fat number are not subscribed to the channel so if that's one of you guys scroll down a little bit and join the community seriously shout out to all my subscribers you guys are absolutely amazing but i know what you guys are saying like yo jeans why is ambi palm so strong ambi palm's just a little monkey i never really see a lot of people using it a this thing is normal type and it has technician with a silk scarf so all those multiplied will make this thing do a ridiculous amount of damage. We'll go over its spread in just a second. And that second actually starts right now. We're going to start off with Ambipom for our team preview. We got the Silk Scarf as our item. So all normal moves, which are already stabbed for this Pokemon, will get a 1.2 times multiplier. So it will get a 1.5 multiplier for stab damage and then a 1.2 on top of that for Silk Scarf. And then the moves that we are using are also Technician Boosts. So the boosts are on the board. They are crazy boosts for this Pokemon. Silk Scarf for this thing's item. Nature for this thing is going to be Jolly, so we can outspeed a lot of Pokemon. EVs for this Pokemon are going to be attack and speed, obviously, because we're just trying to outspeed and do as much damage as we possibly can. Technician ability, like I already said, and then the moveset for this thing is going to be Fake Out, Double Hit, U-Turn and Pivot Out, and Aerial Ace, just to cover fighter fighting Pokemon up against this Pokemon, because, you know, it's normal. Fighting super effective, so we're going to need a move that we can do some big damage on this thing. But one thing I did want to go over with this Pokemon is how hard Fake Out is going to hit. So if we look at Fake Out, it is base power 40. Since we have Technician, it goes up to 60. Plus with the Silk Scarf, it gets a 1.2 times multiplier. Plus with Stab. So with Stab, it is at, what is that? 60, it will be at base 90 power. Base 90 power plus the Silk Scarf. Come on, yo. It is over base 100 power for a Fake Out. For a Fake Out. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential. I'm telling you guys, Ambi Palm's broken. Next Pokemon on the squad is our Intimidate Mon, and that is going to be this lovely little Gyarados over here. Waterfall, Crunch, Dragon Dance to set up and protect for its moveset. EVs for this thing is going to be a little bit in speed, a little bit in attack, and a little bit in HP. Just a nice little all-around bulk guy who can hit hard. Intimidate as its ability, Jolly as his nature, and this thing is holding the Lumberry, so we can't get burned or any status conditions on this guy. Third Pokemon for our squad is going to be Scissor, and Scissor is going to be our Life Orb Mom. Usually, I would give it to Ambipom, but Scissor's rocking out with here, and I really wanted to give the Ambipom Silk Scarf, because, you know, Silk Scarf, you don't see it that much, so when we can use it, I'm definitely going to use it. Life Orb as item, like I just said, Adamant Nature to give it attack boost. EVs for this thing is going to be attack and HP with a little bit in speed and a little bit in special defense and a little bit in defense, so it's kind of all around, but it's mainly bulked in HP, attack, and speed. Technician as this thing's ability, so we're rocking out with two Technician Pokemon. And then this thing has the moveset of Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Sword Stance, and Protect, a fairly normal moveset for a Scissor. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Abomasnow. And not just any Abomasnow, this thing is a Choice Scarf Abomasnow, so it can outspeed and do a lot of damage. We got Blizzard, which, which hits 100% of the time in the snow, which is its uh, ability. So it sets snow, then Blizzard can hit 100% of the time. We got Energy Ball for Stab, Ice Beam for Stab, and Icy Wind for Speed Control. He's going to be really good with speed control with that move considering his choice scarf. He can outspeed a lot of Pokemon and just control the speed of the battle with Icy Wind. EVs for this Pokemon, it's just going to be special attack and speed. Snow Warning as its ability. This thing has a timid nature to give it more speed. And then, like I said, as its item is going to be the choice scarf. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Raikou. And Raikou can work in many different instances. It's kind of support. It's kind of attacking. It's pretty good all around. This thing has leftovers to soak up some shots and get HP at the end of every single turn. It's got the Timmy nature for speed. EVs for this thing is going to be HP speed with a tad bit in special attack. Inner focus as its ability. And then this thing is rocking out with a moveset of Thunderbolt. Calm Mind to set up. That's special attack and special defense. Snarl to drop special attack and protect for our fourth and final move. Last Pokemon on the squad is going to be our heavy physical attacker, which is going to be Garchomp. Cannot go wrong with Garchomp. Dragon Call, EQ, Rock Slide, and Protect. We did not give this thing Swords Dance because, you know, I think I just feel like we need Rock Slide. I feel like we need a Pokemon with Rock Slide, so I, I gave it to Garchomp. I gave it to Garchomp here. The EVs for this thing is pretty obvious. It's going to be attack and speed with the Jolly Nature. Rough skin ability, and then finally, the item is going to be the Yachi Berry, so we can soak up an ice move. Guys, if you want to check out the stats, check out this team. We got the Poke Base down in the description below. Definitely go check it out, but without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder. Look to get some wins with this Technician Abby Palm team. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, and I don't even care what our opponent has, we're leading our main man, AB Palm here. We are getting him into battle and showcasing him here in battle number one, and he's a great lead regardless. This guy has a sick team, though. 
He has a sick team. He's got Togekiss. He's got Heatran. He has Blastoise, who is really, really cool. Garchomp and two Intimidate Pokemon with him on top alongside with Gyarados. So actually, that's kind of scary, but I still want to go in the hit on top. Or not him on top. I still want to go into Ambipom. I can fake out. I can U-turn out. I really do like that lead. I really do like that lead. He has Gyarados, which is kind of scary. And the Intimidate. So I kind of just want to go in maybe with Raikou. I think Raikou could be pretty good. But I have to watch out for those Intimidates. So I'm thinking of eating, either leading Raikou or Abomasnow just because we can counter up on a lot of Pokemon and we won't be uh, intimidated. So I'm going to go in with Abomasnow. I'm going to go in with Amipom. I definitely want to bring in my Intimidate user. And then final Pokemon. I'm thinking it's going to be either Scizor or Garchomp. Scizor or Garchomp's looking good. Garchomp can uh can do some work, but I think Scizor's going to be the call here. I think Scissor's going to be called. Just counter up on that Togekiss and have first turn priority with another Technician Pokemon. With another Technician Pokemon. So I'm really liking it. But if you guys haven't noticed, I got my boy Carp here again. You're going to be seeing Carp a lot in these videos. So hope you guys stay tuned. But he ends up leading these two, which uh, I'm kind of cool with. I'm kind of cool with. We can go into Blizzard. Um, I could hard swap. I am going to definitely fake out the Heatran and go into a Blizzard here. I think we just have to tick away some damage onto that, uh, onto that Heatran. So, you know, I'm just going to fake him out and then just go straight into a Blizzard. Or I could go an Icy Wind, but I think Blizzard's the call. I think Blizzard is the call. We got a chance to freeze. We got some nice damage off. I'm liking it all around. I'm liking it all around. But let's see what this guy ends up going into. Could be going into an Air Slash, which is kind of scary, but I cannot deal with the Heat Waves. Heat Waves will do me dirty, especially my Obama. So, fake out doing some big damage for not being very effective. And Blizzard's going to come out here and poke. And can we get some freeze, man? I would love some freeze. Yo, big damage. Big damage right there. On the Togi. Togi's gonna go for a yawn onto my AB Palm. And I'm just gonna U-turn out at this point. I'm just gonna U-turn out and maybe hard swap into my Gyarados. I'm kinda liking that all day. I'm kinda liking that all day. Cause you know that the heat moves coming out here. But the real question is who do I swap into? That is a tough question. Or do I just let a bomb of snow go down here? Cause I mm, do we really need scissor anymore? Do we really need scissor anymore? That's the real question. I don't think we need scissor anymore. If he goes for a fire move, he goes for a fire move. I am going to U-turn out and take out this Togekiss. And mm, I am going to hard swap into Gyarados. And then just get, get out my Scissor. If a Heat Wave comes in, a Heat Wave comes in. I'd rather have a Bomb of Snow over Scissor. Because really, the only reason I brought Scissor was to take out the Togekiss. And Togekiss is going to be dead after this. So I'm cool with it all day. I'm cool with it all day. That's a little rough. That's a little rough that we can't really swap in any of, any of these Pokemon. But Gyarados is going to come out on the field. And now we pose a big threat onto that Heat Trunk. We pose a huge threat on the heat train. Intimidate's going to do nothing because, you know, these are special attackers here. And Ambipom's going to U-turn out and not go to sleep. Unless Togekiss protects. And of course Togekiss protects. So, nice little call by Togekiss to go into the protect. And U-turn's going to get blocked. And Ambipom is going to be slumped. So, actually, we get to keep her scissor. And this thing is going to set up a sub. This thing is going to set up a sub. And Buffett's is going to start ticking away onto the Togekiss, which I'm cool with. I'm definitely cool with. Will that KO the Togekiss? I don't think it will. Well, it's going to be kind of close. And I didn't even check how many Pokemon this guy brought. Hopefully, it is uh, four. I'm hoping it's four. If it's six, I'm going to be a little upset. I'm, I'm going to be a little upset. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. But Amy Palm's going to go to sleep. And I don't like that one bit. Amy Palm is going to slump. No, Amy Palm. No, I really want to use double hit with him. But okay, he did bring four. Buffets will end up taking that thing out. So I kind of just want to... Mm. Well, what do I even do here? I guess I go into a double hit. And I guess I take off the... Uh, He's going to definitely yawn me, I think, before he goes out here. So, do I just take him out or do I drag it up? Now, we're going to take out that sub. We are going to take out that sub. And I think he does yawn me. I think he does yawn me, which is kind of scary. So, I could have actually protected there. I could have just protected it. Waterfall's going to poke here. Take off the sub. And I think Heatran would protect next turn. So, we could end up swapping. So, we'll see what he does. Tokus is going to yawn. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. So, Tokus is going to drop to the Buffets. And hopefully, we can have our boy wake up. And, yo, he... He went for an Earth Power into me? An Earth Power? I'm like, I'll take a waste of a turn. Did he think I was swapping, maybe? I don't know. I do not know. But there we go. Tokus drops out. Gyarados is going to go to sleep next turn. So I could definitely see the Heatran maybe protecting. But I'm still going to target it down. I'm definitely still going to target it down. We have our Ami Palm on the field. Ami Palm's doing fine. He hasn't really taken a lot of damage. He can wake up. He can outspeed a lot of these Pokemon to get off some big damage. I'm not too really worried about the Heatran. I mean, I am worried about the Heatran. If for my back end, my back two Pokemon, he's gonna bring out, bring out him on top, which I still think a waterfall KOs. I still think we can do some big damage. So he's gonna fake out one of my users, which is probably gonna be Gyarados here, right? If I had to guess, it's gonna be Gyarados. Timmy is gonna be doing us dirty, and I'm just going to, uh, ooh, that fighting move is kind of scaring me. 
But I'm going to go for the aerial ace here. I am going to go for the aerial ace, and I am going to go into here. I probably should have U-turned out, which maybe would have been a better play, but I'm scared of the heat wave, man. I really am scared of the heat wave, but I need to get off a of waterfall. He's going to withdraw you. Okay, yo, I'm with that turn all day. I'm with that turn all day, and he's going to show his fourth and final Pokemon, which is going to be this Garchomp. And yo, we have a Bomber Snow in the back. Choice Scarf of Bomber Snow, so we know we outspeed that thing. Waterfall's going to poke here, and we didn't even go to sleep yet. We didn't even go to sleep to get off some Waterfall damage, and he's just going to go straight for Stone Edge, which is kind of scaring me. We do soak up. We do soak up, and I could end up protecting. But we'll see how this one plays out. We could go after Hitmon top. No, I kind of need my Gyarados, so I might, I might hard swap right now. I might hard swap. I'm going to need this uh, Gyarados just for the sheer fact is that, what's it called? That what's it called is scaring me. Oh, Gyarados goes to sleep. Hmm. Oh, but we have, I totally forgot about our Lumberry. Yo, that's awesome. That's awesome. We have Lumberry. So I am going to swap Gyarados. I am going to say that my boy wakes up here. Do I go for a double hit? Double hit will not take out Garchomp, but I'm not worried about Garchomp. So I'm just going to go for an aerial ace here. And I might U-turn out. I am going to U-turn out here if I can and go into Scissor here and just hard swap. Mm. Do I just straight hard swap into Scissor here? I have to swap my Gyarados out. So I am going to go into Scissor here. And we're going to go for here. We're going to go from here. Let's see how this one plays out. Amy Palm should wake up here. The Lumberry definitely clutching up for us. Gotta love it. I totally forgot about it too. So Scissor's going to get the swap. Him on top's going to go for the fake out. It fails. Why is he going for a fake out now? What's he doing? u turns going to be able to poke through here. And do I switch back into Gyarados here? Or do I keep Gyarados? Or do I keep Gyarados? What's our play? Am I for a fake out round two? Ugh. Um. What do we think he's going for? I think a Bomb is going to be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. So I am going to get out a Bomb Snow here. Right? Garchomp's not going to be able to take me out. So I get out of Bomba Snow here, and we are sitting in the driver's seat. We are sitting in the driver's seat. I really do like this. He's going to go for a Swords Dance. Yo, that's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. He goes for a Swords Dance. Our Bomba Snow is Choice Scarf. He's going to be able to outspeed. Knock that thing out with a Blizzard. Dude, it's over with. It is over with. It is over with. Oh, wait a minute. We don't have Blizzard anymore, but we're going to go into an Ice Beam. Ice Beam's definitely our play. And do we go into an X Scissor here? Or a Bullet Punch? Let's go into a Bullet Punch. Right over to hit my top. Start chipping away some damage. But yo, that's GG's. That is going to be GG's. We're going to start getting rid of these physical attackers. And Heatran can't really do anything with my boy in the back. Why does this guy keep going for fake outs? I don't understand. I do not understand why this guy keeps going for fake outs. Does he not understand that fake outs like this? I don't know. I do not know. But Ice Beam is going to be able to come through here. Later, Garchomp. Get on out my face. And my boy hit my top. is just going to go down to another bullet punch. He's just going to go down to another bullet punch. And honestly, Heatran could do some damage on us. He could get a double kill if he goes into a Heat Wave. So we'll see how this one plays out. We'll see how this one plays out. But I feel like we're going up against an, uh, an opponent that's not not too good. That's not too good. We'll at least go for the freeze here. And more importantly, we will go for a bull punch over onto the hip on top and finish that thing off. But if he just goes into Heat Wave, that's a double kill. That is a double kill. That's a little scary. So Bull Punch comes out here. Hit my top. Get on out my face. We got AB Pop out here, but I definitely want to showcase him a little bit more. We kind of just faked out, and then uh, he put me to sleep, which was a little tough. But Ice Cream's going to poke here. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze. Give me the freeze. Show it to me. Show it to me. No freeze. And Magma Storm this thing's rocking with. Magma Storm. Is that a Heat Wave? Heat Wave would have been a call. Scissor is going to go down here. That's that's an all day. We, we dropped down all day to that. <laughs> and I think I just bring out... I could bring out AB Pop and see how we can do with that. Yo, let's have some fun with it. Yo, let's bring out AB Palm. Obviously, I can bring out Gyarados and just waterfall out. But I'm going to go into AB Palm, fake out, and just slowly chip away damage. Even though all my moves are not very effective, it's definitely, it's definitely the play. Go into AB Palm, baby. Ice Beam's going to poke. We're going to go for that fake out now. And we're going to flinch him. We're going to flinch him. He's probably sitting here, yo, like, why is this dude's fake out working? But look how much damage, yo, fake out's doing on a not very effective Pokemon. Double hit should probably be able to take that thing out. We'll see. We'll see. What's this thing going for? Oh, I can't go for anything. We flinched it. It has leftovers. It's going to get a little bit of HP back, and we're going to end this battle. We are going to end this battle. Hopefully with AB Palm here. Double hit AB Palm, Technician. Let's do it. Let's get it ripping here. Let's get it ripping. Double hit's going to come through here. Get her done. Let's get it done, baby. Let's make it happen. Ice Beam's going to fly. It goes first, and I think Double Hit's going to be able to take this thing out. Come on, Double Hit. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Double Hit. Yo, yo. Look at that damage on a Heatran. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here. Battle number one went our way. Granted, our opponent, I don't think was that good, but still. We grabbed ourselves a win. Let's hop into our second battle and showcase these Pokemon off a little bit better.
hopping into battle number two trying to showcase ab palm a little bit more here in this battle and granted we did good in our first battle we grabbed ourselves a win but i don't think our opponent really knew what he was doing too much. i do not think he, he knew what he was doing too much he wasted a few turns with fake out he tried earth power my Gyarados. it's all good yo it's all good we're gonna showcase the team a little bit more here in battle number two but this guy's got a pretty cool team he's got garchomp he's got mew he's got roserade he's got uh rotom and then he's got Infernape alongside with Float Zone. And I think Amy Palm's a great lead here. I kind of want to bring a Bomb of Snow here as well. Bomb of Snow could work wonders if he leads to Garchomp or Roserade. Or even a Float Zone or Rotom. We have Choice Scarf. We could just choice to our Grass move. So I'm really liking that. I'm really liking these two Pokemon. Next Pokemon I think we should bring could be Gyarados. Gyarados could be pretty good here. I do like Gyarados as long as we can get rid of some of these Pokemon. Like that Rotom. But I think we should be fine with that. So let's go Gyarados. And then final Pokemon... I think we just go straight into our Garchomp. I think Garchomp does a lot of work here. I think he can do some big damage. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. Let's lock in our Garchomp and hop into our second battle here. And try to showcase, like I said, this team a little bit more in this battle. But let's see who he's going to lead. Maybe he'll lead a Garchomp or something. He goes Garchomp and Rotom. Yes, sir, yo. Blizzard's going to be able to just dump on that thing. And I can fake out the Rotom. And I can fake out the Rotom. So I'm really liking this first turn. I'm really liking this first turn. Hopefully this guy brought four Pokemon. We always hope for that. We always hope for that. And he... He brought six, yo. Every time I say that, they bring six. But we're going to go for a fake out here. Ambi Palm can do some big damage with a fake out. And Blizzard should just be able to easily one tap his Garchomp. No problem. No problem whatsoever. So it's either he protects that Garchomp or he swaps out. Let's see what he does. And then I'm going to see how much fake out can do. And then maybe we can double hit onto the Rotom and pick up a KO. Because Ambi Palm does some big damage. Ambi Palm does some big damage. Cannot wait to showcase it. I think this battle, we're going to showcase Ambi Palm to its fullest. To its fullest, because just watch how much this fake out does. We were faking out a Heatran in the last battle, and it was not very effective, but you guys can still tell it's still doing some nice damage. He's going to end up with on the Garchomp and going into who? Who's he going to go into? He's going to go into Infernape. He's going to go into Infernape, and maybe we just double hit on that, but we'll see how much Blizzard can do. Fake out comes out. Bop. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Blizzard pokes through here. That does a good amount of damage on both these guys, but who do I take out here? Who's the big threat? Who is the big threat? Hmm. Everyone's going to take Buffets, except for Obama Snow. Who's the big threat, though? Who is the big threat? I think Infernape kind of poses a big threat, especially he has six Pokemon. I think we can just go into a double hit on the U. And then, you know, just a uh, Blizzard. And just Blizzard again, because we're choosing a Blizzard. I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking this. Obama Snow should go first before anybody. And AB Palm should be faster than any of these Pokemon because, you know, it's AB Palm. He's super fast. He has base 115 speed. And Rotom is going to go down to Buffets, but doesn't go down to that. Double hit's going to come through here. Infernape, get out of my game. And that'd be sick if a double hit kills on the first hit. It slides over. That'd be really cool. Rotom is going to end up going for what? What's he going for? A light screen. So he sets up a light screen. Okay, that that that, that actually works really well, especially up against my Obama Snow. But my AB Palm is physical attack. Man. So, yeah, we're looking for this 4v6 here. And we just brought it down to a 4v4 situation. We brought it down to a 4v4. We can Blizzard for free. I might have to swap out my Rotom. Or not my Rotom. My, uh... My Bomb Snow in a little bit. Just so I can get the weather back. I'm gonna need it if we're going for Blizzards. If we're going for Blizzards and he has Garchomp in the back, we're definitely gonna need it. So we did end up swapping the Garchomp, which was a smart play by him. But yo, AB Palm doing some damage out here. I wonder who he's gonna go into. Maybe Roserade could come out here? I mean, he has all six. He has all six. I'm going to say Floatzel comes out. Yeah. And I'm going to say Roserade. Actually, probably not Roserade. Mew. Okay, so Mew comes out here. I'm going to target down that Floatzel. I am going to double hit onto that Floatzel. Or I could U-turn out. I could U-turn out, which I might do next turn. I'm just going to Blizzard. Blizzard is going to be my play. But I think a double hit alongside with the Blizzard should be able to do enough damage to take to KO that uh, Floatzel. Nice damage on the Mew, yo. We doing some damage. Critical hit, uh, hit on the Mew, that's why. And here comes AB Palm, baby. Double hit. Yo, dude, look at this Pokemon. This thing is ridiculous. This thing is ridiculous. I'm telling you guys. AB Palm plays no games. Floatzel drops out. He's going to go for a nasty plot. That's totally fine, yo. We outspeed that. And I think another Blizzard. Can another Blizzard KO that thing? He might be able to because Buffets are chipping away. And he's going to have to bring out either the Roserade. Actually, he sells Lucario, doesn't he? No, he doesn't even have Lucario on his team. He had Floatzel. But a Blizzard with that can KO. So he might end up protecting. Oh, no, he has leftovers. Wait, you turn out and just KO that thing? I think that's going to be my play. I think we U-turn AB Palm. You turn AB Palm for the kill on the Mew. I dig that a lot. And then we just Blizzard. But he's going to send out... Yeah, there's Roserade. Roserade's looking kind of scary. It's kind of... Considering it has Sludge Bomb, it can take out my boy in one hit. But let's just U-turn out. 
Let's dip, get my fake out back for later, and just drop a blizzard. Just drop a blizzard while it's 100% hitting. Just have the lovely little guard chump, but I think we should be fine. Especially with AB Palm switching out here. Blizzard comes out here. Doing some big damage on Rose Raid. This U-turn should be able to come out first. We keep our AB Palm alive, and we should be able to take out this Mew. Mew. Yes, sir, yo. Dude, AB Palm, dude. This little monkey is too good. He's gonna 4v6. He's gonna 4v6, dude. He's gonna 4v6 it for us, yo. He's doing some big work with the double hits. You turn out. Um, he is gonna bring out Garchomp, so I might as well just go into Intimidate. Or I can just go and actually, dude, it's gonna be GG's. Actually, it might not be GG's. Because if he sludge bombs here, that can definitely take out my uh my Obama Snow in one shot. So let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We're gonna bring out a, a Gyarados here. Is he going for sludge bomb? He does. And I think that takes out my Obama Snow, right? Yeah, Obama Snow was not soaking that up, so. Rest easy, Obama Snow. I could have used you, but it's all good. We got some good back end Pokemon here. We got some great back end Pokemon. So we got my lovely little AB Palm. I could just go straight into. Do I outspeed a Rose Raid? I'm really curious. I could go back into my AB Palm. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Because, you know, I'm loving me some AB Palm. We know AB Palm outspeeds a Rose Raid, but I think I just fake out the Garchomp, right? I think I just fake out the Garchomp. Garchomp posed a big threat. He's just a really strong Pokemon. And I think we're sitting in the driver's seat here. I think we go for a Crunch here. Because Crunch should be able to actually. Yeah, Crunch should be able to take out this uh, Rose Raid, even though it's not Stab. We do have Buffets alongside with it, and then we're just going to go for this Fake Out. We get some big damage off with Fake Out. We get some big damage off with Fake Out. Coming out. Dude, look at that, yo. Silk Scarf, Stab. Oh my god, Technician as well. It's just lovely. Crunch going to poke through here, and it does take out the Rose Raid, yo. It is over. It is GG, yo. An Ambi Palm 4v6. We have Lumberry, so Poison don't matter. Loving it. Ambi Palm 4v6. Get out of here, Rose Raid. We don't want you here. We don't want cheer. First battle was super easy. This battle, yo, we're 4v6, dude. We ain't playing games. And what did Garchomp just go for? Oh, wait, he flinched. He flinched, yo. We're thriving here. Let's double hit up on that thing. And Ambipom... <laughs> this dude turned off his console. That's hilarious. I was going to say, Ambipom can do big damage with his double hit. And it was going to be able to outspeed. Like I've been saying, it's base 115 speed. It outspeeds a lot. But, yo, let's get it. 4v6, made our second opponent, turn off his console, and quit the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a solid third and final coming at you guys. I know this because this guy's team is looking really, really good. He's got the Power Dude. He's got the Swift from Kingdra combo. He also has Zangoose, Togekiss, Raikou, and Latios. Ambipom, you're coming in again. Such a great lead. I love this Pokemon so, so much. Um, what other Pokemon should we bring on the squad? We could bring up Bombastow. I mean, Bombastow could be decent. Super effective up against a few of these, and I might end up leading them. I definitely want to bring in Raikou. I think Raikou can be really good. He has a few, actually a lot of special attackers. So I'm going to end up lead the Raikou. Because we can fake out. We can snarl from there. I really do like that lead. Um, next Pokemon we're going to go in with, I really do not think Garchomp's a go to. I think bringing Scissor could be good. He has no fire Pokemon. So four times super effective is really, really, uh, really, really uh, terrible up against Scissor. So him not having fire is really uh, good for us. And then final Pokemon, I'm thinking either Gyarados or Obama. So Garchomp could come in here. But I really don't like the situation that Garchomp is in. So I kind of like Obama Snow. Having that choice scarf in the back end, I'm really liking that. Let's lock in our Pokemon. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. Actually, grab ourselves a perfect record here in battle number three. Let's see who he ends up going into. He goes into Politoed and Raikou come out here. Okay, so Politoed and Raikou does poke out here. Raikou is going to be in our focus, so we have to fake out that uh that Politoed. So we're going to fake out onto the Politoed, and then we are just going to go into a Snarl. Snarl is definitely going to be our play. Snarl, Snarl, Snarl. He sets the rain. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with him setting the rain. Let's fake out. I could just go into a double hit, but fake out's definitely gonna reapply. And I could T-bolt, but I'm just gonna snarl. I'm just gonna do a lovely little snarl here. He has two special attackers on the field. Might as well drop their special attack and go from there. Polythos gonna protect. That's cool with me. That is cool with me. I wonder what Raikou's going for. Fake out's gonna get blocked. We couldn't have done it up against Raikou anyway, because you know. It's uh it's in our focus. And Snarl's gonna come out here before his Raikou, which is awesome. And drop a special attack. A nice, lovely little special attack chop. Nice, lovely little special attack chop. He's going to go for a, uh, a thunder. Okay. Not into my Amy Palm. Amy Palm, can you soak? He's minus one. Amy Palm, I love you. I love you, Abies. And you go, oh, dude, the paralyzed. What you mean? He's a paralyzed on me. Um, in this case, I'm just going to double hit again. I'm just going to double hit maybe in the Raikou? Or do we go into Politoed? Or do we go into Politoed? So we just go into Raikou. Raikou is really posing a threat. And I'm just going to snarl. Just let me snarl, yo. I know my boy outspeeds. Snarl's gonna come out here. Yo, sending that. And we should be able to eat up whatever these guys have to offer. Unless they double into me. Unless they double into my AB Palm. We know that AB Palm can do big damage. They know that too. So we're hoping we can get off at least one more shot with AB Palm. It'll be really, really good for us. He's gonna end up going for a Volt Switch, which is a smart little play here. We soak up all day. 
And who's he going to go into? Go into Kingdra. Somebody that we can just TL for. Please do not go into my Poly... Or Polito, do not go into my Ambipom. Please don't do it. I don't like that. But that was a good Volt Switch by him because he is minus two. And let's just see what he does. Let's just see this dude's play. Imagine if we would have read the Protect. He goes into Latios. He goes into Latios, which is a pretty cool Pokemon. And Polytoad is just going to go for Hypnosis. Show. How dare you? Who are you going into? Raikou? Why you got to do me dirty like that? Hypnosis on the Polytoad. And it's connecting. Yo. It's 60% or 60 uh, accuracy, which is nuts. Double hit comes through here. And yo, dude, that damage. The damage, yo. The damage. Gotta love it. That's some big damage with AB Palm. I do like how much damage we just got off on there. And in this case, I mean, if I can U-turn, I would love the U-turn. I'm at least going to try for it. And I'm just going to go for a Snarl. I'm just going to go for a special attack job. So we know, we pretty much know his rest of his Pokemon here. We know he probably has that King Drive if he's bringing this thing. He's going to go for a Draco Meteor, which is totally fine by me. Can Raikou eat that? I don't know. Maybe he can. It's pretty bulky. Yes, sir. Raikou eats that all day. And I think special attack does drop down. So we want to get off some damage before he does die out here. And Polytoad's just going to go for a Scald. Can we eat that? Mm, that could have been awesome if we were if we were able to eat that. Because then I, could, I was you turning out and we could have did some, uh, get another fake out turn. But Raikou's going to get some leftovers. He's soaking up. These guys are minus on special attack board. So I could bring out, could bring out Scissor and set up. I'm thinking of just setting up a sword stance here. At least he doesn't get that burn. I could change up weather. Oh, I could change up weather. Which could force him to swap into... Hmm. What do I bring out? I think bringing out Scissor and setting up is the call here. I really do think that's the call. He's minus two on special attack. Polytoad's minus one. I really do like that call. I'm going to set up a sword stance here. Let's set up a sword stance. Let's go into a snarl. Or do we go into just a straight thunderbolt? If we wake up, I'd rather go into a Thunderbolt here. So let's see how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. Raikou's going to wake up. That is awesome. Thunderbolt's going to be able to poke. How much damage are we going to do? Some good damage. That is some big old damage. Big old damage. This thing has a Citrus Berry. All good. It is all good. We're not playing around here. I just, I just feel like one of his attacks going after my Raikou, right? Draco Meteor's going to come out here. Is that thing choice? And I think Raikou could be able to eat that up, right? Raikou, eat that up all day. Love you, Raikou. I love you, man. 2 HP. God, I love it. We're setting up a sword dance. We're sitting in a solid position. And we know we have speed. Hypnosis connects again, bro. Come on. Come on. Get out my face. Get out my face. Get out my face. So we can't take out Polytoad. We can't take out Polytoad with this snarl. Can we outspeed? Don't we outspeed? I think we do outspeed, yeah. We do outspeed. I could go into a snarl. I could go into an X-Scissor. You know, try to bull punch. Does Thunderbolt take that thing out? I mean, I'm not worried about that Latios. I really am not worried about that Latios. But you know what? I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to Thunderbolt and take out this Polytoad. That's going to be my play. If we can get Polytoad off this field just so we can't have weather. We're sitting in a great position. Raikou's going to Thunderbolt. Later, Polytoad. Yep, Polytoad, get on out my games. Polytoad drops out. If he wants to bring in uh, if he wants to bring in Kingdra here, because maybe he has a turn left in rain, we can just change up the weather. But Latios is going to recover. And like I said, I'm fine with it. He's minus four. He's minus four, so he's not choiced. He's just minus four. Maybe he'll swap next turn. Which could be a good call for him. Which could be a great call for him. We could go into an X-Scissor, which I think I want to do. And if he brings out a special attacker, we're just going to snarl because we outspeed. Raikou is doing some work, yo. I'm loving myself some Raikou. But yo, Ambipom, I wish we still had him. He's going to bring out Raikou on his own. Let's just snarl up. Let's just do a little bit of snarl action. X-Scissor, because I kind of want to get rid of you. Just in case he wants to swap. And then just snarl. Because he might swap here. Now he has to uh, recover some HP. Solid, solid third battle. He does not swap. So now I was going to put that thing to minus five. Put Raikou down to minus one. Really, really good. Really, really good. I knew Raikou was an absolute must come in here because we had Snarl on this thing. I was just like, dude, he has so many special attackers. We got to bring in Raikou. He's just going to go straight for Shadow Ball and that is going to take out my Raikou. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Critical hit. Now we can bring in our final Pokemon, which is going to be a Bomb Snow. And a Bomb Snow with that choice is really, really good considering we know what Pokemon he has. Dragon Pulse is going to fly through here. We soak that up all day. Psh, late work. Wake up. Wake up, Scissor. Thank you, Scissor. Scissor wakes up. X Scissor's gonna poke here. Take him in. Take him out there. And he's gonna bring out his final Pokemon as well. He is going to bring out his final Pokemon, which, like I said, if I had to guess, it's gotta be Kingdra. There's no reason to bring Politoed without Kingdra. But honestly, I can see it happening now because he could have just brought the Politoed just for hypnosis. Because he he put two of my Pokemon to sleep. That accuracy is pretty nuts. That accuracy was whack. Because if I tried to using hypnosis, it was never gonna work. But my calculations were correct. He brings out the lovely little Kingdra. We have Snow Warning. We're Choice Scarf, yo. So Blizzards are free. 
Blizzard are free right now, which is exactly what I'm going to go into. I could bullet punch, but you know, it's not going to be very effective to both. So I am just going to go into an X scissor and double down into Kingdra here. And just go straight into a Blizzard. It's my play. That's the Jeans play here. And it's looking really good for us. It's looking really good for us. Blizzard pokes through. Give me a freeze, yo. Give me some freezes. Of course, this thing's rocking with the berry. And I wonder what he's going to go for. I wonder what he's going to go for here. I wonder what he's doing here. Raku's going to use a Thunder, and of course that connects. Should be able to soak up pretty easily. Probably going to get the Paralyzed, not even going to lie. Which is a little whack. He does not. That's lovely. Hydro Pump's going to connect here as well. Jeez, man. This dude's just laying a bunch of attacks. Can we eat that? Eat it up, Sizzy. Skizor does not eat that up. He does not eat that up. So Blizzards are going to have to come out here. We're going to have to do some work with our Blizzards. They're going to take some Buffet damage, which we really like. And we're looking for some Freezes here. We are looking for some lovely little Freezes. If we can survive this next turn, we got this win in the bag. We have speed. We are cooking. Blizzard's doing a decent amount of damage. Let's make it happen. Yo, give me at least one freeze, yo. Give me at least one freeze. Let my let my Obama Snow clutch up here. Let my lovely little Obama Snow clutch up. Obama Snow blistering. Give me a freeze, yo. We're due for a freeze. We're due for a freeze, baby. No freezes. Shadow Ball comes through. He's minus one. I think Obama Snow can soak up pretty well here. Yep. And this thing's gonna go for Dragon Pulse, and we should be able to eat that up. Is that GG's for us? All day, yo. All day, Obama Snow. Love it. Buffett's going to poke through here, and I think Obama Snow with the clutch. These guys have no first-turn priority moves. Blizzard cannot miss. It's in the hail. It cannot miss. We clutch it up, dude. We clutch it up, yo. Obama Snow coming in clutch in that back end, getting the show off this Amy Bomb team to its fullest potential. First battle, like I said, went up against a decently bad opponent. Second battle, we won a 4v6, and this one was just a great battle all around. Definitely a great battle all around, but there it is, yo. GG's Obama Snow with that choice scarf clutching up for that third and final battle, and we grab ourselves a lovely little perfect record. Ambipom is disgusting. There's no other way to put it. Ambipom is just so much fun. It is super, super strong. It's normal typing, so it gets a stab. It's got the Silk Scarf to give it that boost for normal attack moves, and then add Technician on top of it. What more do you guys want? What more do you guys want? This Pokemon hit so hard. We got to show them off in today's video, doing some big damage, winning a 4v6, and more importantly, grabbing yourself a perfect record. We got to show off this team to its fullest potential. We got Gyarados out there. We got Scissor. Obama so clutched it up in battle number three. Raku came in there for the Snarls and that support. And Garchomp. I think we got Garchomp in a battle. Actually, I don't think we did, but yo, you guys already know what Garchomp does. You guys already know what Garchomp does. We pretty much use them on every single one of our teams. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.